when I first moved into the home in July, July 21st, 1962, Douglas was still there. Now we have jets. If you can imagine having a 60,000 pound plus jet going over your house, your home, at 87 feet, and they're so large that they create a vortex which rips fruit and leaves off our trees. I've had my lawn furniture blown over. My neighbor's fence was blown over. I've witnessed a near, a near crash from a jet and a, um, a large a military plane. I, I couldn't stop shaking. <laughs> I handed um, a disc of, you know, to Kurt Schaefer, you know, showing him how, what our proximity was to the airport and what our issues were. His statement was, oh, these homes are just too close to the airport. Santa Monica talks as if they are a green city and they care about the environment, yet they've had no qualms about poisoning us. This airport does not meet the criteria for an airport. It's grandfathered in. If they overrun that, that runway, they are not going to have a soft landing. They're going into homes because that's all there is to go into. I think what it, is, what it will take is just a, a, an uproar. I mean, Santa Monica needs, needs to involve Los Angeles. And Los Angeles has some power. They need, they, they really truly need to be working together. They can close the airport itself on these environmental issues. I had met with a Western Regional Director and he said this airport can be closed. He said, it's really, he said, it can be closed. Santa Monica just has to start doing it the right way.